Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and this is your stimulus check update for the second stimulus package for Monday, July 13th. I hope everyone had a good and safe weekend and are off to a great start to your week so far. In this video, I'll be discussing both the first and second stimulus checks, including why the next round of stimulus checks may be even less than $1,200 and why some people may not even receive a second round stimulus payment. I'll also be discussing unemployment, the EIDL grant, and then I'll be wrapping up this video by answering some of the comments and questions that I received in my previous video. But first, if you wouldn't mind real quickly liking this video, giving me a big thumbs up, it really just helps with the YouTube algorithm in terms of pushing this video out to other viewers like you and hopefully helping other people like you as well. Okay, so as far as the first round of stimulus payments go, if you haven't yet received your first stimulus check, you're definitely not alone. There are still millions of Americans who haven't even received their first stimulus payment. The good news is that the IRS is going to continue sending out stimulus payments each and every week until everyone gets paid, and the next round of direct deposits are set to go out on Wednesday, July 15th. So if you haven't been checking the payment portal, I would encourage you to do so, and let me know in the comment section below if you're also receiving a payment date of July 15th as well. Now, if you're still going to the payment portal and you're still getting that error message of payment status not available, all that means is that the IRS has just not yet scheduled a delivery date, so just keep checking and you will eventually receive a payment. Also, just another reminder for those expats living abroad outside the United States, if you haven't yet received your first stimulus payment, the IRS did recently make note that they will be directly depositing stimulus payments into those expats' accounts no later than July 24th. Now, that's if you do have a US-based bank account. Unfortunately, if you do not have a US-based bank account, it is going to take a little bit longer as they are going to have to be mailing your check instead, but they're going to be mailing these checks no later than July 24th. So I hope it doesn't take much longer than a month for those checks to arrive in the mail. And for all of you guys that are still waiting for your first stimulus checks, I'm incredibly sorry it should not be taking this long, but you should receive your payment before you know it. Okay, moving right along to some second stimulus check updates. As mentioned earlier in this video, we may be looking at receiving a stimulus check for less than $1,200, and some people may not even receive a stimulus check. In a recent interview with Fox Business, White House Economic Advisor Larry Kudlow said the next round of direct payments would be less than $1,200 and targeted towards people in lower income brackets and the unemployed. Now, this line of thinking would go right along with what Mitch McConnell was saying earlier about those who earn less than $40,000 per year being hit the hardest. Remember though, Kudlow is only an economic advisor for the White House. Kudlow is not going to be the one who writes the next stimulus bill, and he's not even going to be voting on the next stimulus bill. So even though he may have some type of influence on the next stimulus package, I'd be willing to bet that President Trump has just a little bit more influence, being that you know he's the President of the United States. And if you remember, Donald Trump came out recently and said that he wants to be more generous in the House and he wants to give more than $1,200 in the next round of stimulus payments. So we have Larry Kudlow who's saying that we should send out less than $1,200 and he's just an economic advisor. Sure, he may have some type of influence, but then we have the President of the United States who wants more than $1,200. So I would be willing to bet that the President has a little bit more influence on the Senate than an economic advisor of the White House would. That's just my line of thinking anyways. Now, as you can remember, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell made note that 40% of those earning less than $40,000 per year were laid off from their jobs. What Larry Kudlow is saying would also go along with Mitch McConnell's reduced price tag, whereas he's only wanting to spend $1.3 trillion in the next stimulus package. And if you remember, just to compare, the CARES Act, the first stimulus package, was roughly $2.2 trillion. So if we're only going to be giving $1.3 trillion in the next stimulus package, that's going to be almost half of what the CARES Act was for. This would also be less than half of what the House was calling for whenever they passed their HEROES Act back in May, which was set to send out another round of stimulus payments to Americans of $1,200. And it was also going to include dependents over the age of 17 who were left out in the first stimulus package in the CARES Act. Kudlow and McConnell's line of thinking has also been running counter to Donald Trump. When we've heard Donald Trump come out and mention that he wants the next round of stimulus payments to be more than $1,200. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi also remains unconvinced about limiting stimulus payments to those only earning less than $40,000 per year as well. Pelosi stated, I think there are many families, depending on the size of the family, so many different things that $40,000 would have to be explained, justified to the rest. Pelosi went on to say, I think families making over $40,000 probably need assistance, again, depending on their family situation. 
And I completely agree with Pelosi here. You never know someone's entire situation. Just because those individuals earning less than $40,000 per year were hit the hardest, doesn't mean that those people earning more than $40,000 per year weren't impacted in any shape or form by this pandemic either. Plus, you also have to factor in cost of living. Earning $40,000 per year in San Francisco isn't nearly the same as earning $40,000 per year in Louisville, Kentucky. Your money just does not go as far in certain cities. If McConnell does try to push a bill through the Senate that limits stimulus payments to only those who earn less than $40,000 per year, remember, this would also have to be approved by the House as well. And most likely, since Nancy Pelosi is opposed to this, it's going to be rejected by the House and it's pretty much going to be the same as the HEROES Act where it's basically just going to be dead on arrival. So then at that point, we would pretty much just be back to square one where the House or the Senate would have to reintroduce the next stimulus package. And of course, to make things worse, that would delay the next stimulus bill even more. And you gotta remember guys, stimulus checks aren't the only thing that's going to be in the next stimulus package. We're talking about having unemployment run out on July 31st without having a fix to that. We're talking about small businesses no longer having any type of aid and trying to stay afloat in this situation. There are many, many things that need to be addressed in this next stimulus package, which just make it incredibly, incredibly crucial. If McConnell and the Senate try to push through a bill that they know at heart definitely will not be bipartisan, then that would be incredibly silly on their part. We know that the House also goes on their summer recess on August 3rd, so the last day for voting for them will be on July 31st. So unless the House just blindly agrees with whatever bill the Senate pushes on them, we may be waiting another month to see the next stimulus package passed. With that said, I do believe that Donald Trump will be able to put enough pressure on Mitch McConnell and the rest of Congress to not limit these stimulus payments to those earning less than $40,000 per year. Remember, this is an election year. In only four months, Donald Trump's position in the White House is up for grabs. I simply do not believe that Donald Trump, knowing how important these stimulus checks are, would allow any chance for them to be reduced to a certain income level, especially an income like $40,000 per year or less. We've already seen some of the recent polls and Trump has been slipping a bit in the polls, so having one last strong stimulus package could certainly give him a little bit of a boost. Now, if I were to guess personally, I would say that we will probably end up seeing something similar to the CARES Act, where people earning $75,000 per less will earn the full $1,200. And then for each amount over 75,000, that $1,200 will get reduced just a little bit. I just do not believe there's going to be enough support in the Senate for limiting these stimulus checks to people who earn less than $40,000 per year. And you also have to remember, Mitch McConnell only came out and said that those who earn less than $40,000 per year were hit the hardest. And that statement on all bases is pretty much true. He never came out and flatly said though that he was only going to give stimulus payments to those who earn less than $40,000 per year. He just simply made a fact, a factual statement saying that those who earn less than $40,000 per year or hit the hardest. So at this point, I really just want to take those comments with a grain of salt. In addition to reduced stimulus checks, Larry Kudlow is also in support of a back to work bonus. We've already seen such examples by Rob Portman, for example, where he was wanting to give Americans $450 per week on top of their regular paycheck just to return to their jobs. This idea, again, is another proposal that most likely would not pass in the House. More than likely, I believe we're going to end up seeing that federal unemployment boost extended for another six months, but it probably will not be the full $600. More than likely, that's going to get cut down to $300 to $400 per week. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin did mention that if we do extend the federal unemployment boost for another six months, it would be capped at the amount of income that the employee made at their prior job. This rule would be set in place in order to not provide a disincentive to return to work. Now, this is obviously a very tough debate. What do you guys think? Do you think that unemployment should be extended for another six months and be for the full $600? Do you think it should be cut in half, maybe to $300 or $400? Or do you guys like the idea of a back to work bonus where you would receive something like $400 to $450 extra per week on top of your regular paycheck? Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. Okay, so just one more quick reminder, if you do have any type of side hustle or small business, whether that is driving for Uber or Lyft or selling online on eBay or any other type of side hustle or small business that you may have, you are still eligible to apply for the EIDL grant. And remember, this is a grant, it's not a loan. And the difference here is that you do not have to pay this money back to the government. So it's basically free money. They're giving it out, so you might as well take advantage of it. So if you were impacted in any way, shape or form by this pandemic, which let's face it, you probably were, pretty much all of us were impacted by this pandemic, then I would apply for this grant. 
In the description box below, I will leave a link in which you can apply for it. It only takes about three to five minutes to apply. It's very simple, it's very straightforward, it's very quick. And I've seen a lot of people in the comment section saying that they've received their grant within just a few days of applying. And sure, there are others where it takes a few weeks. It is taking a little bit longer for others, unfortunately. But I would definitely apply if you have any questions whatsoever whether or not you would be eligible. Then I would just go ahead and apply because you have absolutely nothing to lose here. All right, so at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and answer some of the comments and questions I received in my previous video. And if you have any other comments or questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I do try to respond to as many comments and questions as I possibly can. And those comments and questions that I'm not able to get to, I do try to pick some of the more popular ones to answer in the next video in video form. All right, so without further ado, let me go ahead and jump into the first comment of today's video. And that comment comes from Ricky. Ricky says, would Social Security recipients be considered in the second round of stimulus payments? All right, thank you so much for that question, Ricky. And the second stimulus package has not yet passed, so I can't say for sure. However, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin did come out and say that everyone who received the first round of stimulus payments would also be eligible in the second round of stimulus payments as well. So I would think that you should definitely receive the second stimulus check also. All right, so the next comment of today's video comes from Dixie. Dixie says, after the second stimulus check and stimulus package is all said and done, then what? Will there be others to follow? I watch and listen to you each day. Thanks for all the crucial info. Stay safe. All right, Dixie, so first off, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I really appreciate your support. Now, as far as what happens after this next stimulus package, Mitch McConnell says this should be the last stimulus package. He said that we're just spending too much money. We're already in a huge national debt. So this is more than likely going to be the last stimulus package. Hopefully by then we can kind of shore up this virus. And even if we don't have a vaccine, hopefully we can at least find better ways to live with it. So more than likely this will be the last stimulus package and the last stimulus check sent out. But we'll just have to wait and see because we never really know what's going to happen. All right, so on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. If you did enjoy the content in this video and you'd like to see more videos like it, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It is completely free to do so and it's a great support to me. Also, if you would like to receive one free stock valued all the way up to $500 from Robinhood, feel free to claim that free stock by clicking the link in the description box below. And until next time, I'll see you guys and I hope you have a great day today.